And where do you want to go? Why, in there. Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. There must be something How about some ores and admission fee? How much ore exactly is some? That wasn't very clever. A hundred ore nuggets should be enough. Truly spoken. You can get in. That wasn't. Hang on. You have to watch what you tell people. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. You don't look very happy. I'm not. Let's I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes, but I just can't be bothered. I could sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. Here you go. Have another drink on me. Thanks, man. I'll drink to your health. There was a time when things would have gone very different. You're very proud what you tell me. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. No, man. I'll manage. Hang on. Better not go rushing into my Show me what you have. Here. He I'm shouldn't not believe everything to all that either. Either. anymore. There must be some. Mm, that wasn't very clever. There must Wouldn't be something be about this story shoes, after all. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Hang on. You're from the Fremont, right? Right. How'd you find that out? If you think. Somebody, and you're if you trouble. think, That's how, it how are things? Great. We trade our homemade rice snaps for ore. Well, the boys carry in enough ore. Where should they spend it if not here? You shouldn't believe I want a drink. You have to pay for it. That's not really my problem. Ah, you probably have to watch what you tell people. I thought that'd be cleared Some up ages ago. Some people never learn. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. <laughs> You're very probably right. <laughs> that won't happen again. I better keep out of it. <laughs> you shouldn't believe everything you hear. That's really not my problem. How's things? We put another spoke in Gomez's wheel. Three dead gods and lots of stuff to sell. I'll drink to that. You're one of the guys who keep raiding the old camp. No. Only when it's worth it. There was a time when things would have gone. What have you got to offer? Let's rephrase that question. What have you got to offer? I'm only interested in big consignments. Balor said you'd be interested in swamp weed. Mm hmm. You want to trade? If you think there must be what have you got to offer? Let's rephrase that. Balor. People always talk. Let's make a deal. What do you want? Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it out goes. It. That's really not my problem. Some people never learn. It was obvious that if there would think. be trouble ahead. And keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. People always <laughs> talk. There was a time when things were done very different and very clever. But keep it to yourself. People don't, don't need listen to all the blathering. Very it's you have to watch. I'd like to be in his shoes, though. People always talk. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. It was obvious that How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink? That's a good thing, really. 
While I'm busy, the Rice Lord's lap dogs leave me alone. I better keep out of it. What are you doing? I'm making rice snaps, boy. Here, have a bottle, but don't tell Silas. What can you tell me about the Rice Lord? He's a damn swine. His thugs pick on the weak and force them to work in the fields. Yeah, the only one who could stand up to him is Horatio, but uh, he doesn't do violence. Well, I did once hear him say he'd love to smash the Rice Lord's head in, but uh, uh, he'd never really do it. Yeah, it'd go against his beliefs. That won't happen again. I'd better keep out of it. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to Better not go rushing into anything. That's it. Rely on somebody. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. I'm not listening to all that blathering anymore. How are things? Get lost! Hey, a new face! Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. See you later. Step aside! What do you have to do as a mercenary of the Magicians? Lee has made a deal with the Magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the Scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the Magicians. The Magicians make sure we'll get out of here, and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. 
It doesn't make much difference, really, but he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. See you later. Where can I get a bow here? You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it. Hi, who are you? It's none of your business. I don't like your mug. Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Now where are you going? Where can I go? To Laris. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here, but you need a good reason to disturb him. I want to join your gang. Many people want to join us. You'll have to make a better offer if you want to pass through this gate. 
Mordrag sent me. Mordrag hasn't been seen here for some time. He's probably changed over to the old camp. I came here with him. Mordrag's back? If you meet him, tell him Lares wants to see him. Mordrag gave me something for Laris. What is it? A ring. Certainly a precious piece. Okay, you can see him. What's up, anyway? I want to join your gang. Oh yeah? What have you got to show for yourself then? Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve your dexterity and strength. What else can I do? Bal Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. Greetings, Magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I can help you to increase your magic powers or give you some useful items. What can I do for you? I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. We are the Magicians of the Circle of Water. The Magicians of the Circle of Fire live in the old camp. But I can't get into the castle. Could you help me? Well, occasionally we send messengers to our brothers in the old camp. But we only entrust these messages to Lara's men. He's been seeing to it for many years now that our messengers arrive safely. You want to destroy the barrier. How exactly do you plan to do that? We need major amounts of magic ore. We'll release the entire magic power in a great magic rite to blow up the barrier. Of course, such a big amount of ore attracts a lot of rogues and crooks. That's why we need a man to defend our plan. I'd like to join you. If you want to join us, you should see Lee or Laris. I want to acquire magic writings.
I've been thinking the whole thing over. And? Have you thought of anything better? Yes. I want to be able to take on the Rice Lord and his thugs. Ah. You wouldn't be the first to try. I will defeat the Rice Lord and his thugs, if you help me. Good. I've sworn I'll never attack anyone again. But I never said I wouldn't teach anyone else to do it. I'm all ears. If you want to hit powerfully, you need to know the right tactics. That's the first thing you learn as a smith. Learn to push your whole arm through, from the shoulder down to the wrist. The better you get at that, the more powerful the blow. You'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Thanks for your help. Use your knowledge for a just cause, and for nothing else. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Baal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can hardly deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Baal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his wheat for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your tasks now. Bala Sidro will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people. But only give one stalk to each person. One more thing, if you let somebody take the weed from you or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Show me your goods. As you wish. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some too. Watch your back!
Hey, you! You're in luck. I'll give you a second chance. Try not to mess it up this time. Well, go to the Rice Lord, and then take water to all the peasants. Got it? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm working for the Rice Lord. If you need something, ask Lefty. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. 
Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. You! Well done! You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. From now on, you can carry the water yourself. Oh, have you got better plans? I think I'll have to remind you who's the boss. A fuck! He's had enough! It's your own fault! Don't try that again! Damn! No ore! You've given me a fair thrashing, man. Twas a good fight, but now it's over. How are you, my friend? Oh man, what do you want? The peasants look thirsty. I'll see to it, don't worry. trouble with me again lefty sent me oh yeah what did he say I'm to bring the peasants some water right here's a dozen bottles of water there's about twice that amount of peasants so make sure you share it out evenly <laughs> 